hey guys welcome to a brand new video i hope you are doing well um, let's get right into this today we'll be taking a look at registration data and we'll be comparing who is to the registration data access protocol you can look up registration data with a protocol called who is so i can just check um, who owns a domain for example or an ip address i can just check who owns hillbytes.com and I pull up information about that particular domain name, when it was registered, um, which server it's on, and lots of other information about that domain name. So for a while now, we've been using who is to pull up registration data about a domain name or an IP address. But recently, a protocol named registration data access protocol replaced who is, and this is meant to be the new protocol for looking up IP and domain information. So the registration data access protocol enables users to access current registration data and was created as an eventual replacement for the WHOIS protocol. So RDAP currently has two advantages over WHOIS. It's meant to be more structured and it's meant to provide more detailed information. So we're going to try both out and we're going to compare the information we can pull up with WHOIS and what we can pull up with RDAP. So if you come over to rapidapi.com um, and go to the Hillbytes Rapid API page, I'll leave a link to this in the description below. There is an API called Who is Fetch, and Who is Fetch uses RDAP to pull up IPv4 and IPv6 registration data information. So we'll be using Who is Fetch for our RDAP lookup. And we'll be comparing it to a regular, a typical Who is search so let's try this out so this is a cloudflare ip address and we are just going to run who is here and i'm also going to run the rdap lookup here let's test this endpoint and we'll just be comparing our results here the whois pulls up the basic information about this ip address we can see it's cloudflare and we have the same information here showing us this is cloudflare but this is more detailed and organized first this is structured in a very clean json format and we can just start comparing this um, we can see the cidr information here you can see it's the same as this we can see the net handle here we can see the net handle here um, we can pull up some links here and we have also have those links here and this goes deeper to include events let's check this out so this was when it was last changed and we also have this here which is the updated and we also have a registration date here so but what i like about this is that the rdap version includes the timestamp we can see an additional timestamp here that has the time of those actions not just the dates so if we scroll down here we can see other information other contact information about this ip address and we have the same contact information here but we have it arranged in a very nice json format let's take a look at this snock 11962 information which we have here so here we have the handle we have the name we have the phone number email and we have a reference so here we also have the contacts and under the contacts we have an address We have an email, we have the phone number, and this also shows us the phone number type. We can see this is a work phone and this is a voice phone. So the registration data access protocol is a new way to look up uh, IP registration and domain registration information. And I've demonstrated the differences here and we can see the main difference is the structure of the information and the details so um you can start looking up ip information with who is fetch offers you to query ip information for ipv4 and ipv6 i'll leave a link to this in the description below so that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you learned something new from this if you did don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you have any questions about this leave them in the comments below and i'll see you in the next video bye